What's going on, everyone? This is the Kid DC Wrestling here to bring you all your AEW Dynamite review from the uh, November 9th edition 2022. This was a okay episode, I thought. You know, as we get closer and closer to AEW's next pay per view full gear, which is next next Saturday. Uh, by the way, AEW full gear. Uh, uh, predictions will be coming out this Saturday afternoon. As a matter of fact, actually around probably this Saturday, um, this Saturday evening. So around maybe like three o'clock, four o'clock, somewhere around that time period. But predictions for the show will be coming out this Saturday. So be on the lookout for that. But let's go ahead and get into the show. I actually apologize for being a little late here on the review. I usually I be getting these uploaded after the show. So we had a tag team match play. We had the Acclaim and FTR take on Swerving on Glory and the Guns. I thought this was a solid opener, man. The baby face to get the win there, and rightfully so. It just made more sense to have the Acclaim and FTR. Um, obviously, you know, FTR pretty much in contention for the Acclaim's tag team titles. And, um, you know, the Acclaim being the champions, you know, so on and so forth. MJF. Had to cut a promo tonight, but he was not at AEW. You know, doctors um, was like, "Look, man, like the firm attacked you. You can, you should not be on the road." So MJF was like, "All right, like I'm all right. That's fine." Um, so he was in a podcast. I forgot which podcast it was, but he basically said, "This, you know, most important match of his career. You know, I feel like that this can, you know, create the next face of the next generation." I can be contention with guys like The Rock, Bruno San Martino, the GOAT John Cena. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So this is a pretty good MJF promo, you know, getting ready for their matchup at the full gear pay per view. And uh like I said, I'll talk well, I'll talk about more how I feel like that match is gonna go down in the prediction video that drops on Saturday. Ethan Page Versus Eddie Kingston. This was the start of the AEW World Championship Eliminated Tournament first round matchup. Obviously, the final is going to take place at full gear, where the winner will face the champion at the pay per view. Um, not pay per view, but the TV special winner is coming. Ethan Page got the win here. I kind of had that feeling. Um, it just, you know, it just really felt like Ethan Page was going to get the win. No offense. Um, but it, it was an okay, I, I thought it was a pretty solid match between the two guys. And, uh, you know, I know everyone likes freaking, um, you, y'all know who I'm talking about, freaking Ethan Kingston. But I thought Ethan Page going over was kind of the right call, considering what they're kind of doing right now with Eddie Kingston, you know. TNT title match, man, Wartlow, RV, Davari. I didn't care about this. Uh, no one cared about this. And I think even AW, obviously, because this set up. Wartlow and Powerhouse Hobbs coming out there and like Wartlow immediately said that I'm gonna take out everybody in this company. I'm gonna go after every title in this company. Samoa Joe took him out. So Samoa Joe officially turns heel and puts Wartlow to sleep. Now, I ain't gonna lie to you. I think everybody saw this coming. I mean, for crying out loud, they've been teasing it for weeks. You could tell in that shot too when, you know, the way Samoa Joe's looking at him like, yeah, I'm, I'm a... I mean, Wardlow pushed him out the way this, on Friday. So it was like, oh, yeah, Samoa Joe's going to Samoa Joe's gonna turn on this dude. Um, but, yeah, Samoa Joe's officially a heel now. And uh, I don't really know if this is in alignment with Powerhouse Hobbs. I think it was just more of the fact, like, yeah, I'm turned on you uh, for my own reasons, you know. So Ray and uh, Britt Baker face off and pretty much man Saray, you know, said that this is my house, you know, I'm med- I am medically cleared, I'm gonna face it full gear. Britt, you know, I built this division up and you know, Saray was like, I've been here for years, you know, you're ungrateful. You know, this was a really you know, the their few their few well their build up I should say. Um because everyone should have known from a mile away that Saray was medically cleared. But the build-up so far has been kind of weak, in my opinion. But I thought that tonight was definitely one of the good parts. Um, you know, you guys know how I kind of feel about Britt. I thought she cut a pretty good promo. Yeah, I said it. I know. And uh, Paige, I thought she looked good. T- Soraya, jeez, <laughs> looked good, too. Um, yeah, I thought this was a pretty good way to build up their match for full gear. Um, 
really good promo for strong promo from both women. Um, it's kind of how you uh, kind of reminded me of Sami's. Nah, well, it didn't remind me of Sami Zayn, but yeah, you know, like when Sami and Zayn and Pac did it or Neville uh, leading up to their NXT title match. But you you get the point of what I'm saying. Uh, Jay Lethal versus Trent Beretta. Th- this match is okay. <sighs> it was all right. Jay Lethal gets the win there. There's really nothing more I can say. Uh, Jeff Jarrett came out there. Um, you know, damn, that was pretty much it. You know, people were saying Sasha Banks was going to show up tonight on 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 Dynamite because they said that there was a big thing in store. I'm, I'm like, bro, like, Sasha Banks is not going to show up. Like, yeah, it's in Boston. Like, what? People were actually, oh, my God, Sasha's going to show up. Like, what? Anyways, John Moxley cuts the promo. Um, I'm not gonna say word for word for what he says, and a solid promo I thought. Um, that after that man, we got Jamie Hader versus Sky Blue. This is pretty much nothing more than Jamie Hader dominating. She gets the win, and of course the main event: Brian Danielson versus Sammy Guevara. Two out of three falls match. This was pretty good, man. Danielson won the first one. Dan won the second one, and of course Brian won the last one. It was a pretty good match, I thought, and it ended, in my opinion, this was an okay episode of SmackDown, Jesus, <laughs> of Dynamite, excuse me, I'm just going to get AEW fans mad, I said SmackDown, um, the, the bill for full gear has been, oh man, it's kind of been mad to, well, yeah, it's, it felt a little mad to me, you know, it's really outside of the world title match, if I'm being honest. I hope you guys enjoyed my review. Oh, remember to subscribe to the channel, man. I'm trying to, we're actually three subs away from 1,960. So let's try to get that. But ultimately, 2,000 subs is the main goal. This has been the kid, DC Wrestling. And so, um, yeah.